have to contradict either. Like, I don't even understand the contradiction. Like, when I was talking about meat before, it's like, okay, so getting back to the Wolpert quote, oh, yeah. like, if, if, you're, if, if the brain is there to make complex adaptable movements, okay, and let's, let's just say that's true because you go back to consciousness, but if you stop to think about it, even the words that we construct, mm -hmm. those are movements. Like, words are movements. Mm -hmm. this, like you have to go you have, if we have to go back even further the word word it means that my vocal cords contracted in such a way to angle such that when you blow air past them it sounds like this word 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 word, <laughs> word, word. but clearly we don't think in words right because mm -hmm. it's like my wife speaks french uh, you know sarah you know sarah we're oh. all here and, and, and sometimes I stop myself, I, I, I'm like, oh, what, what, what language are you thinking in right now? And then I stop and I'm like, what a stupid question, because we don't think in language, we think in movement and we think in space. If you read Barbara Tversky's new book, it, it, it puts this out beautifully, but we think in movement, we think in space. When I go to pick up my coffee cup, I don't look at it and say, coffee cup, C-U-P, white, grab now, <laughs> go. No, I just see the coffee cup. I analyze two factors. How much effort is it gonna take for me to overcome gravity to get my coffee cup? Mm -hmm. And how far away is this coffee cup? Mm -hmm. like, that's it. So then I put some effort, grab the coffee cup and drink. So I didn't think in words, I thought in movement. So technically, if you go backwards, it all comes back to movement if you go back to it to that extent, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, but what is the point of meat? So you have a nervous system. If I just plop the nervous system on a table, it's not going to move, no. right? Okay, so the purpose of the meat then is to give the, the nervous system a tool with which to sense its environment. Mm -hmm. And based on the sensing, it can then produce plans as to how to move within the global environment. So yeah. the, the meat is what the nervous system is using mm -hmm. to figure shit out. Yes. And the meat also, t the, you know, it's the, the communication is bi-directional there. Of course it is, because if you go from an evolutionary, uh, uh, from an embryological status, in which we uh -huh. did back in school, it comes from the uh -huh. same embryological process, like, you know, ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm, like the, the nervous system grows meat, like mm -hmm. a chia pet doll. Like, like that's, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what it does. So if the meat is dysfunctional, you can't say just fix what the nervous system's doing. Just like if the nervous system's dysfunctional, it's going to affect the meat. Yeah. So there is no such thing as you only focus on the meat and you only focus on the nervous system. It's the same stuff. Like, yeah, the, this idea that they're, they're mutually exclusive somehow from a conceptual standpoint, it's kind of like, you know, the, the split between the idea that, well, I'm a brain based chiropractor or I'm a, I'm a mechanical based chiropractor. Like, like what, what the fuck is everyone talking Please. about?